Sabrina the Teenage Witch takes on Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know about you, but I find these shared universes exhausting. 2023's Totally Killer is directed by Nanachka Khan and stars Kernan Shipka and Olivia Holt. Produced by Jason Blum under his Blumhouse television banner and was released this month on Amazon Prime via Amazon MGM Studios. This is similar to Happy Death Day, but instead of blending the premise with Groundhog's Day... Have you seen the movie Back to the Future? We're doing Back to the Future. Please tell me you've seen Back to the Future. But really... I find the tone of this movie more along the lines of the hot tub time machine, but the execution is not nearly as good as any of those movies. So the antagonist is the sweet 16 killer, and he murders three teenagers on their 16th birthday by stabbing them 16 times. And he wears this mask that by design is supposed to be reminiscent of Kiefer Sutherland from the Lost Boys, Rob Lowe, Dolph Lundgren, they are trying to achieve that 80s vibe with this look, but personally, I don't think it's creepy enough. The slasher element is fairly effective, although they do tone it down a little bit with the CGI blood. This is made for horror devotees. It's fairly enjoyable. It's enthusiastically paced, well-directed. Not everything works. Hate time travel movies. They never make any sense. Do you know about quantum mechanics? I saw Endgame. Can you please just watch Back to the Future? Totally Killer is a decent enough time. <sighs> and this is perfectly fine for a nice cozy night in October. Thank you for visiting High Ground Cantina.